Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are guys are doing amazing. So today I am here with today's daily lead code challenge problem. So the problem says count the number of balanced permutations. So you are given a string num. A string of digits is called balanced if the sum of digits in the even indices is equal to the sum of digits in the odd indices. And we need to return the number of distinct permutations of num that are balanced and we are given a modulo also. So out of all the permutations of a string, we need to return the balanced permutations only. So here we are given, let's say 1, 2, 3. We have so many permutations of this, out of which the ba balanced are 1, 3, 2 and 2, 3, 1. Why is this? Because in the even places, the sum is 3 and in the odd places, the sum is also 3, which is 2 plus 1. So yeah, this is a valid permutation or we can say a balanced permutation. So how to think of the solution? So let's just start. So at first what will come to our mind, mind let's say we have something like 2, 3, 1, 4. So we know that sum of these two is 5, sum of these two is also 5. So in even indices we can place 2, 3 and in the odd indices we can place 1 and 4. Let's say we are placing these. And now you can easily see that we can interchange 2 and 3. We can also interchange 1 and 4. So if you consider only the half length array, so let's say the odd index, odd indices, you can consider the odd and the even ones separately, right? You can consider them separately and di a different array of length n by 2. And this would be n minus n by 2. So n minus n by 2 is not necessarily always n by 2 because of odd. Uh, if the presence is let's say 3, then n by 2 is 1, but n minus n by 2 is 2. So let's say even indices we have 1 and 4. So you can say that how many ways we can arrange them. So in n by 2 factorial ways, we can arrange the odd indices places and in n minus n by 2 factorial ways, we can arrange the even indices places. So this n minus n by 2 again I am telling is not exactly equal to n by 2. So this term you can easily understand and we need to multiply some term which will say that how many ways can we form a half length array, n by 2 length array with the sum of the total sum by 2. Okay. So one thing you can easily understand is that whenever the sum of total sum of the all the numbers is let's say sum. If this is odd, if this is odd, then we can not form the even indices and the uh, even odd indices because we need to both of them which should be even right even should be the case because the sum by 2 will be the sum if both of the sums are same then definitely each of them should be equal to half of the total sum so if sum is odd we can just return 0 and if sum is even uh, there may or may not be some possible values so we can just find find using this so I think it would be very clear by now how to do the approach the only thing which remains is that how to calculate this n by 2 possibilities. So what are we trying to find is the number of ways you can say the number of ways to choose to choose to choose a half length n by 2 length with sum by 2 sum. How many ways are there to choose n by 2? So we now the problem reduces to finding the series of sequence n by 2 with sum with total sum by 2 right and you can see that there are two states so we can easily do it using dp so you can do recursion and memoization so i will uh, i will directly write the step of uh, iterative dp so why, how i will do that So let's say I have uh, let's say dpij if I take dpi comma j 
where i comma j represents the sum i is formed using the length j which is traversed so far so let's say we have the length of this is j and we are trying to find a relation from j minus 1 and let's say the digit which is currently here is d so what can we add dp ij we can we say that dp ij will be plus equals to total i represents the sum right so what will be the sum which is here will be s minus d isn't it s minus d if the sum uh, if the total sum is s here and the, the digit is d then this sum should be s minus d and j minus 1 so this is a standard you can say that you can also do it by using re recursive approach and then memorizing it and we will check all the digits from 0 to 9 we will check all the digits from 0 to 9 okay so this is how we will uh, build the dp array and at the end at the end uh, you know that dp now ny you can say that the last element of the dp will give me the total number of ways to form n minus 2 So you can say that n by 2 and sum by 2. The total number of ways to form the this n by 2 length is, uh, with the sum of sum by 2, and then we will just multiply the factorial. So yeah, let's just try to code it now. So we have a lot of factorial and stuffs like that. So one thing you must also remember that while doing this n by 2 factorial is this this is this n by 2 factorial first of all sufficient let's try to understand this so that there remains no confusion okay so yeah let's say we are we have an array of numbers which is a single number here we are taking care of the Odd indices, which I said n by 2 factorial. We are taking care of the let's say even and even indices also. Whatever we are just doing it this way. But there also needs to divide if the if there is the same number let's say 2 2, then we also needs to divide by 2 factorial. You know, like the, how many ways are there to arrange this? Will be 3 factorial by 2 factorial because the 2 is repeated here so we also need to take care of the repetitions repetitions okay repetitions of repetitions factorial of both of the terms both of the terms so how we can uh, whichever number repeats itself we need to divide the whole factorial and since we are doing a mod here we are doing a total mod here we, we need to find the mod inverse so mod inverse formula if you don't know you can just check it out from the internet so we need to just do this okay i think it's very clear by now so first of all i need to define this long long we need a int mod 1 9 7 as told in the question also now i need to define some functions let's say factorial we need to calculate the factorial here we need to calculate the mod inverse here we need to calculate the inverse factorial here so we need to define those functions first so at first at first let me just let me just extract the num dot size okay and let me also just take care of the sum let's say sum is 0 i will iterate to the sum and just find out num of i minus 0 yeah so i will this is my total sum at first without thinking anything i am doing this if sum mod 2 if sum mod 2 that is if it is 1 return 0 because if the sum is if the sum is odd how can you split it into two equal sums right so you need the sum to be even at first so we have it now we will define some vector let's say we have a vector of factorial n plus 1 comma 
one. Okay. All I need to do is iterate from one to n. Fact of i into fact of i minus one modulo uh, multiply by i and whole this will be in terms of mod. Okay, I have this factorial for value pre-computed. I also need the mod inverse value. So yeah, there is a formula for mod inverse. You can just check this from the internet. So for just I will do i equals to 2 i less than equals to n i plus plus what can I do here is that apply the formula of inverse of i is equals to mod minus mod by i inverse of mod i so how this formula comes you can just check it out in the internet you will find in geeks for geeks or something like that uh, when you are doing a division by mod you cannot just write divide by uh, modulo mod you need to do perform a mod inverse so it's in the number theory you see, there is some proof of this too so yeah we have the mod inverse thing and we also have the inverse factorial we have the inverse factorial which is n plus on 1 again and equal to n i plus plus we have in fact equal to again in fact of i minus 1 into inverse of i i guess is that yeah that's what we need to do here so we have the factorial and inverse factorial ready and we are now ready to apply the formula let's check out how to do the dp thing so if i will just first iterate through the entire length of the string and extract the digit d so let's keep a map to store the frequency of all the elements so we also need the frequency right because the repetitions we will just count from the frequency map and put the factorial for the division purpose so we also need a vector ll digits we have frequency of all the digits from 0 to 9 and this digit d is what is num of i minus 0 so we have the digit d which is num of i minus 0 uh, now what you can do is that you need to fill the dp table right we need to initialize the dp table as i had discussed in the solution uh, how do we need to fill the dp table first the sum will come so it will be let's say sum by 2 plus 1 we are taking it for safety and vector ll half length n 0 and dp 0 0 we need to initialize by 1 we must remember the base case because the, if there is like how many ways if you ask yourself how many ways are there to form a sum of 0 using a string of length 0 then of course there is one way of doing that that is you don't do anything so you just iterate from back uh, what should you write here you write you need to write j and k so for j equals to uh, sum by 2 j greater than equals to b j minus minus for int k equals to you can write 
n by 2 k greater than equals to 0 k minus minus you can fill the dp to be dp i j no j k equals dp j k plus what you can do here is you can just add the dp j minus d the sum portion and k minus 1 so as i had told you clearly in the explanation how this is coming so we put a mod here also so yeah we also need to fill the digits d d the same time to keep a track of the frequency and then what can i do now is perform the computations in the mathematics so what what i have the answer i have so we need to multiply the result into this so the result is nothing but dp ij right sum by 2 n by 2 yeah and this whole thing this thing will be multiplied by this n by 2 length fact of n by 2 we perform a mod and then again we perform a dp not dp uh, we will do another factorial right so we will multiply by another factorial which is fact of n minus n by 2 this time why i am not writing directly n by 2 i have told you this multiple times uh, we have this factorial this factorial we need another mod definitely so we have the numerator term ready we need the denominator now what i need to do is very simple i will just iterate through all the digits i will just iterate through all the digits from 0 to 9 and just do answer equals to uh, inverse mod multiplication so inverse factorial i will just multiply by the inverse factorial of each in the digit so inverse fact inverse factorial of the digit of i i take the inverse factorial of the digit of i and i just multiply by the answer i am doing a mod here also so i just now return answer So this should work I think. So it's giving a runtime error over here. Let's check out. So yeah, if you see if it, it is giving some index error because first of all I need to do here n by 2 plus 1 and then here also this is k minus 1 right. So if k goes to 0 it will give a negative index so it will be k greater than 0 so let's just try to run this so yeah, it works let's try to submit it so yes we have the accepted thing so yeah that was all for this problem Although this problem looks a little bit hard because it involves some of the mathematics, some of the number theory stuffs. But I hope your day is going to be really easy. Thank you so much.